Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing and setting up the new for 2024 Spirit Halloween Nibbles the Clown. Okay, so I also got this guy along with Ringmaster at the Spirit Halloween 2024 flagship store. I was so lucky to pick him up. Um, here's the front of his box right here. He is a six foot clown and one of the best parts on him is that he has a sensor that is in his nose that follows you so his head follows you um, wherever you move which that's like the main reason I got this guy. I'm so excited to check that out. Um, we got one of the other sides of the box shows head movement and then the hand movement and then this side over here has the same picture from the front and then the same details from the front. And then right here we got the story and the price. He was $300 and I used a 20% uh, coupon on him. Uh, so it was like a little less than maybe 280, something like that. Now with all that said, let's get right into unboxing him. Okay, so I have not opened the box yet. Um, I'm really excited to see everything in here, especially his head and the lollipop. Uh, so let's get right into opening the lid on this um so when you open it this is what it looks like and straight off the bat i see um this this paper right here it's not the stories that they used to do on paper it's more telling about the tracking he has uh that which is pretty cool and then on the other side we got the instructions um yeah i really like that it shows where the sensor is and yeah everything you need to know about that that's a cool thing that they added now the next thing we can pull out is uh, his head, uh, but it's in um, this box right here. So we're gonna open this after looking at everything else. Uh, it looks like next we can pull out um, this uh, foam thing right there, probably for the leg. Uh, here's one of his arms right there. Here is another foam leg. We can take out his other arm right here. And now I think I can take out his lollipop. And yeah, so here he is, um, or here it is. Uh, his hand looks really small. It looks like a normal size hand. Um, I'll take this out of the plastic, but I love the little bite in the lollipop. I think that's just such a good touch to, to this. So here's what it looks like out of the plastic. I love the look on this. Looks like a real lollipop. And then, like I said, I love the bite that it has there and then his hand right there. Now we can take out his shoes. Uh, they are simple. They are normal SVI clown shoes. Uh, they are a kind of red, they're not a shiny red. Uh, it's more of a maroon, but kind of like a dark blood color or something like that. Uh, they're both in here. There they are. Then we can take out uh, the other hand right here. Uh, this is the hand when you put it on the arm, it will move up and down. So there's that. I love the veins that are on the back of this. I really like that. Then it looks like we can take out his hip hoop right here. Um, pretty decent size hip hoop. After seeing and building Ringmaster, he was like double the size of everything because he's huge. Uh, so this is just a normal size, uh, life size prop. So they're just normal size stuff. Uh, right here, we can take out his um, control box, mechanism, and then uh, his shoulder piece right there. And um, I'm pretty sure this is either a spine piece like for the back, um, or it goes in the front. Here is his bag of clothes. Uh, you can see his shirt there, and his pants. And it looks like we can take out the base here. Um, here it is, it's got those hooks right there for the shoes. And then the last thing in here, which is uh, the leg poles right there. Okay, so before we set him up, I'm gonna move the box out of the way uh, and take out his head right here. You can hear the jingle bells uh, from his little jester hat. Uh, so I'm just gonna, actually I probably don't even need scissors. Just untape that. I'm so excited to see this head. Um, hopefully there's no, um, uh, deformities on this um it looks pretty good i think his jaw might be um unaligned uh this is actually not attached to it uh there's his hat piece with the jingle bells um yeah so there's that 
um, his adapter is also in here, and then his head, which, um, I could probably fix this, it's not even that bad, it's just his chin right there, uh, I'll take it out of the bag real quick. Yeah, so here is the head, it's not even bad at all, I just fixed it, uh, this is a pretty good, decent looking head, uh, I love how big the nose is, you can see the sensor right in the middle of the nose, uh, he's got a bunch of Velcro, uh, so you can attach the hat. It has a latex face, and then the attachment, if you guys are wondering, for the bottom, it's some, uh, there's a bunch of wires and moving. It's kind of like servo, but it only goes, like, side to side. But now that we got everything out of the box, it is time to set him up. The first thing you're gonna do is take this base right here, and get the two poles right here labeled B. Uh, and then snap lock them into the base. Then you're gonna get the shoes and slide them over the poles on each side. Uh, they're both the same uh, sculpt, so it doesn't matter which side they go on. Then you're gonna get the foam for each legs and slide them down each pole. Then once you have the foam over the legs, you're gonna get the pants right here and make sure the yellow and blue stripes is on this side and then the normal blue is just on that side. Then once you got the pants looking good of how you like it, uh, you get the torso piece right here and snap lock this into the poles right there. So then once you have the torso piece on, you can put the pants over the hips right there. Uh, and then you can get this, um, the main control box with the speaker mechanism, all that, and just uh, snap lock it to that pole right there. Then once you did that, you can get a shirt and slide it over the whole sh shoulder piece at the top. So once the clothing or shirt is how you would like it, uh, you're gonna get this arm piece right here, then you're gonna put it up the sleeve, uh, attach it, and then we'll connect the hand. So then you can get the hand with the lollipop and then uh, connect it just like that and then adjust the sleeve. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the other side, but the only other thing is it has uh, this little piece that you just gotta clip inside. So now you're just gonna do the same thing and connect the normal hand um, and attach it to the arm and then adjust the sleeve again. And I really like how he's looking so far. Uh, I love his lollipop that he's holding. And um, yeah, I just love his whole stance and I'm really excited to see him. So now the next thing you're gonna do is connect the head uh, up here. It is a snap lock. So you just gotta snap lock it in uh, to like the shoulder frame. So when you attach the head, there are a couple wires you have to plug in right there. There's about like three. Uh, but then the next thing you gotta do is get this little back piece and attach it up here, um, connected to the shoulder frame. This will give him um, a little more back arch to him. Now after adding that back piece, uh, we gotta get his collar right here. And as you can see on the neck, there is a bunch of Velcro. So you're just gonna Velcro the collar onto his neck. Okay, so he's almost finished. We just have one last thing to do, and that is adding his little jester hat. Uh, there is more Velcro. There's one, two, three all around the head. There might be one on the back, I don't know. Uh, but I'm just gonna attach this, and then after that, he will be ready for the demo. Okay, so here is the Spirit Halloween 2024 Nibbles the Clown animatronic. I love him so much. I think he's like, uh, probably one of my favorite clowns I have. Um, not sure about like out of all spirit clowns, but I really do like his sensor. Um, I love his colors. I love the blue and yellow. I don't have any other clowns like that. Uh, like I said, I love the lollipop right here. And then even like the jingle bells um, and the sensor. So now with all that said, let's get right into the demo. I see you. You can't escape my gaze, so why don't you come a little closer and let's play a game. <laughs> if you win, you'll get a prize. If you lose, well, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> I've been watching you for a while now. I hope you don't mind. I like the way you walk. I can't help but follow you around with my gaze. You have a certain bounce in your step that's just so enticing. Mind if I follow you around for a bit longer? <laughs> well, well, well. 
you've caught my eye. Don't worry, I'm just admiring your costume. <laughs> hey, you over there. Yeah, you. I'm giving out some candy. I thought this would be a great way to make some friends. So come a little closer and try to take some. What do you say? <laughs> I'm harmless, mostly. <laughs> He's kind of weird. I don't know if I have him on like on mode or something. Um, I don't see a sensor anywhere, so um, I'm not sure if he just keeps on continuously going or not. So it's kind of weird. Okay, so I think I found out what is going on with the head and why it's not tracking me. It is because I have other animatronics in the room, and he tracks human, um, like, shapes. So, uh, that's why he's not following. Um, so if you gotta have him in your haunted house, make sure he's not nearby any other, um, animatronics or human-like, um, shapes. Because then he'll follow those instead of actually, like, the real people. So, um, I'm gonna have to do another demo, um, I'll move him to another room, um, and then we'll test him out one more time. Okay, so this should work, uh, this room has no other animatronics in it, or anything that I think he would detect, uh, so let's try him again. I see you! Yeah, you can't it's working so game. much better now. So why don't you come a little closer and let's okay. play Okay, so again. that's not bad. It is kind of <laughs> um, annoying though, because like if you want to have him with other people, then I mean other animatronics, well, then you can't. So, you. <laughs> but he's still a pretty cool prop though. I really do like him. Now. I hope you don't mind. I like the way you walk. I can't help but follow you around with my gaze. You have a certain bounce in your step. It's just so enticing. Mind if I follow you around for a bit longer? <laughs> well, well, The only thing well, I don't like is that he, like, keeps on going, eye. but that's okay. Don't worry. Okay guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. What are your thoughts on the new for 2024 Nibbles the Clown from Spirit Halloween? Um, honestly, I think he's actually a pretty good animatronic. Um, I really do like Ringmaster, uh, but I think he is my favorite. Um, even though he kind of just keeps on going, uh, there's not really actually like a real sensor. Um, that's okay, because I really do like the tracking, like, he's following me right now, which is really creepy, and I feel like, uh, when I have him in the haunted house, all, like, the neighborhood kids are gonna find him scary, but yeah, so if you guys want to see some exclusive content, go follow me on Instagram, Haunted Halloween Guy, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye!